Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Well, it's been a while since I've gotten to get a project video out and I've got a lot of catching up to do. And this week, we're going to get started by building a swivel wall mount for the new TV that I bought for the shop. So let's get started. Alright, for this TV mount, I went ahead and grabbed some hardwood out of the bin. Now, I'm using walnut, but you can use any hardwood. And I do recommend that you use hardwood for this project if you're going to try it at home. Understand that the TV that I'm mounting is a 29 inch flat screen TV. I would recommend that you don't go any greater than 32 inches or 50 pounds in weight for this particular mount. Now with that being said, I should be able to get the whole mount made out of these three pieces of walnut. So let's get started by first cleaning up one edge and then cutting the parts down to size. Alright, let's take a minute and see where we're at so far. Now I've got three parts cut out and we've still got a couple of more pieces to cut. But first, let's talk about these real quick. This is going to be the mounting plate and this is the piece that's going to mount to the back of the TV. It's three quarters of an inch thick and it's five inches by five inches. Now we still have to drill four holes that match the mounting holes on the back of the TV. And then there's some other work we have to do with this piece and we'll get into that in just a minute. Now the other two pieces are going to create the pivot arm, the main bracket and the pivot arm. The main bracket is four and five eighths inches long, two inches wide. The pivot arm is four and five eighths inches wide, six and a quarter inches long. Alright, let's talk about the main bracket first. From the top to the beginning of the notch is two and five eighths inches. The notch itself is an inch and an eighth and that leaves me 13 16 at the bottom now the depth of the notch is an inch and a quarter deep now the main pivot arm on one side we've got a notch cut in as well and you're looking at 13 16 from the top to the beginning of the notch and then the notch itself is two and five eighths inches long and that leaves you an inch and an eighth down here at the bottom now the notch depth itself is an inch and five eighths. And these two pieces will fit in here and create this pivot arm. Okay, while the mounting bracket for the TV is in its glue up, I've still got some work to do with it once it's done curing, but right now I want to go ahead and continue working on the main swing arm of this wall mount. 
Now I've got the three parts cut for this swing arm and all I have to do now is connect them together and I'm going to do that by drilling a quarter inch hole down through all the pieces and uh, connect them with long bolts, a couple of washers and some lock nuts. Now I've decided to go ahead and use quarter 20 bolts. Now on this side here, this is the mounting bracket that mounts up against the wall. I'm going to use a six inch. Uh, that way I have enough threads and everything to get my lock nut and a couple of washers on there. And um, the short side, which is the further side, this is where the TV mounting plate connects to. I'm going to use a five and a half inch uh, bolt through there. All right, when all said and done, you should have a part that looks like this. Uh, now I don't have my nuts and everything uh, tightened up. Uh, you're not going to tighten them up. You're going to just get them as close as possible to where there's still some movement in here. Uh, but you're not going to snug them or, or you know, uh, torque them down. Uh, but all together now we've got our main bracket arm and this arm will should be able to pivot around for the TV mount. Alright guys, on this small piece of uh, the swivel arm, if you can barely make out this uh, pencil lines that I have, let me go over them with you. From the outside in and from the bottom up, I've got a mark at 6 sixteenths of an inch. And I've got that same mark on all four corners. And I'm going to drill a 3 16 inch hole there that's big enough for a 1032 screw to fit through. Now from these bottom marks, I've got a 45 degree line that uh, goes from the crosshair on the bottom piece up. And I've got the same thing on this side from the crosshair up until they connect. And then from the top here down about uh, 11 sixteenths. You can go three quarters. I went 11 sixteenths. I've got another line here that just crosses over those. Now from these top marks here you'll see this little swoop line that connects this crosshair and this crosshair and the same thing on the other side. Basically all I did was take a grinder disc and I placed it on the two crosshairs and just drew that little swoop. And what I'm going to do is, and you'll see in just a minute, I'm telling you this now uh, versus showing you, um, I'm drilling a, just a series of holes and I'll clean out that channel so I have a nice arching channel here and I'll show you what's going on with that in just a minute. But Alright guys, I went over to the drill press and I, I didn't put the camera on the drill press so I didn't want to move the position of the camera. But all I did was drill out a series of holes, uh, the four corner holes uh, and then the two holes at the bottom of those 45s and then I just drilled a series of holes to open up that channel uh, and create kind of like two little swoops in there. Uh, just kept drilling and drilling and drilling and then I took some sandpaper and just kind of cleaned up those uh, slots. And um, now what I've got is a piece of aluminum bar stock here. It's uh, about a long piece. It's about two dollars for this piece of eighth inch aluminum bar stock and it is uh, eighth inch by a half inch eighth inch by a half inch aluminum bar stock and like I said I paid two dollars for it and what I did is I ended up cutting out uh, four pieces of that at two and five eighths inches long um, and I cut four of those pieces and I put them together and I drilled two holes so far there's still going to be one more hole in the bottom of each piece but I drilled a hole close to the top center and then I took a 10 30 second screw and uh, put through that first hole and then through the first hole or you know the corner hole in uh, the block here and then I took from this side here and I made a mark in the center of the stock, this aluminum bar stock, where I needed to make my second hole. And uh, so that way the hole is clear all the way through. Now what this is going to do is going to allow me to create a couple of brackets, one down here and one below with one on each side, inch and a half long screw, I'll have a nut and a washer on here. But this is going to create a pivot point it's going to allow the TV, like if the TV is flat, it's going to allow to tilt it, you know, back and forth in this direction.
Alright guys, over at the bandsaw I took two parts. I took the small block that we were working on. This is going to be the one swivel arm that the TV mounting plate mounts to. Now I took it over to the bandsaw and I took the TV mounting plate itself and first thing I did is on the back of this TV mounting plate where I cut that dado and glued this piece in, first thing I did is I trimmed that piece off to where it was a half inch tall. Then I went ahead and trimmed off the sides and everything and brought it down to an inch and three quarters wide. Now from there I took a drill uh, and a uh, 3 16 inch drill bit and from each end in a quarter of an inch I drilled two 3 16 inch holes. And that completes this piece except for the four mounting holes that coincide with the mounting holes on the back of the TV. I gotta create a template because I have no template for that yet. I gotta make a template so I know where exactly where to drill my holes on this mounting plate. But other than that, the mounting plate is done. Now, this small piece is done as well. I, what I did is I cut a small swoop out here. I left enough meat on the other side of my slots and everything so it wouldn't be too weak or anything and it'll hold up well. But I did take some waste out here and what that's going to do is when these two parts are bracketed together, it's going to allow this head to pivot in a back and forth motion in there. Alright guys, to mount the bracket on the wall I went ahead and pre-drilled some uh, quarter inch holes so I can use some lag bolts. Now for the top one I'm using a four inch by one quarter inch lag bolt uh, because I've got so much to go through here and I want uh, it to get a good bite on the stud. Now I took a Forstner bit and I countersunk here so a socket could fit in there and also I needed to recess the head of this bolt in there because when this top bolt comes down it needs to be able to pass that head. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and get this one in then I'll level it up and I'll put the bottom one in. Now the bottom one I'm using a smaller lag bolt uh, because I don't have that far to go. Okay before I mount the flat screen TV to the bracket I wanted to do a simple weight test to see if it was going to hold up to the weight and uh, so I've got some weight on it right now hanging and uh, so now with that I can go ahead and take this plate off and get it mounted to the TV and then get the TV back up here. Alright guys, well the TV is mounted and I've got plenty of range of motion. When it's up against the wall I can fold it flat against the wall like it is right now or with uh, the swing arm it's going to allow me to swing in multiple directions in this way as far as with the actual arm itself I got plenty of range of motion with the arm itself now also on this bracket here as I said if I loosen up these two wing nuts here it allows me to tilt the TV in an up or down motion uh, depending on where I want it or how I want to position it so once it's in the position I want, all I have to do is lock it down to lock it into place. Now again, if you're going to try this project at home, I recommend not going any larger than 32 inches or 50 pounds in weight for this particular design. Uh, if your TV is larger than one of those two dimensions, either 32 inch or larger than 50 pounds in weight, I recommend doing a proper weight test before hanging your TV on the mount. Hey Lanny, have you told him yet? Told him what? You know, about subscribing. Oh, no I didn't. Well, can I tell them? Sure, why not? Cool. All right, guys. Well, if you like this video project, be sure to subscribe to the channel because I... What? Come I? Come on. Oh, okay. All right, guys. Well, if you like this project, be sure to subscribe to the channel because we put out a video project every week. Now, if this is your first time visiting one of our videos, be sure to check out all the other woodworking projects on the channel. And if you'd like to follow us outside of YouTube, check down in the description of this video for more social network links. And until next week, guys. Hey, that's my line. I'll see you soon. That's my line again. All right, guys. See you soon.